What's up guys? Um, I'm coming to you today and I, I want to do something that I don't know how many people have done it. Um, I'm doing an unofficial hall, YouTube Hall of Fame ballot. Um, if it rubs people the wrong way, I apologize. I'm six months into YouTube. The rule is that you can't, um, you can't have a Hall of Fame vote till you're one year into YouTube. So I just wanted to get my opinions out there being new to YouTube. Um, like I said, I'm six months in, so I'm going to post an unofficial ballot and it will not count, but I still want to give people recognition and that's why I'm doing it. It's no, nothing that I, I disagree with the rules. It's the fact that, um, I think this is a great way to recognize your peers and, um, I, I just wanted to take the time to do it. Um, so I, I, it, you normally get 10 votes. Um, since I've only been on YouTube for, for a half a year, I gave myself five votes. So it was hard to pare down my list. Um, I hope nobody, uh, takes it the wrong way if they're left out, but let me get to my list. Um, so to start off, I want to recognize two channels. I probably wouldn't be on YouTube today if it wasn't for these two channels. Um, the first channel is Lou Rock. TV. Um, Lou um, has an amazing Clemente collection. Um, as I started doing my Clemente collection, I watched a lot of his his videos um, to uh, learn about the cards and and um, make sure I was uh, picking up you know everyone in the um, in the run. And he was just instrumental to me. First off, m doing my Clemente run, and he was instrumental on me getting on YouTube, um, you know, after I saw his, uh, best, uh, 10 Clemente card video, I reached out to him and, um, you know, he encouraged me to get on YouTube. He was, I think he was my first, if not second subscriber. Um, he was, he was, I wouldn't, like I said, I probably wouldn't be on YouTube today if Lou Rock didn't, didn't help me. So he, he's getting my first vote. But the, the next vote is also somebody that was instrumental to me. Um, and I don't think he gets enough credit in the community. His name is uh, Paparazzi. Um, it's Talking Ball Cards. He, um, he doesn't have a ton of videos for, for being on YouTube for, for four years. But his videos are amazing. Um, I'm only two years into vintage. So I knew very little about, about vintage cards. And Paparazzi, he has such an amazing card. He has such amazing grading card reveals. He does PSA, SGC, HGA. And I know some guys are against card grading video. Well, I don't want to say against card grading videos, but some guys are not the biggest fans of grading in general. But to just, just he would go through his cards and he would explain stuff. And he would explain how the grading process worked. I learned so much. Um, I watched so many of his videos prior to getting on YouTube. Um, I just think he's a, he's a rock star, and I don't think he uh, I don't think he gets enough credit. Um, so that's my second uh, Hall of Fame vote. All right, my third Hall of Fame vote is going to um, Picker Jim S. Um, Picker Jim S. Um, he <laughs> he he is he's he's the I would say he's he's the mayor of the card community, if you ask me. He he's walking around, shaking hands, kissing babies. He's one of the most supportive uh, members of our card community. Um, he's nobody could say a bad thing about him. Um, he has an amazing collection, and it's just it, everybody knows it. it's Jim. I don't think anybody doesn't know his channel. So I just I just think he needs the recognition he deserves. Um, for, for how much he does for the card community. So that's my third vote. Uh, my fourth vote is going to Scott at Reindeer Studios. Um, Scott has such a unique channel. I just think that needs recognized. Um, he even he even says, I'm, <laughs> I'm not exactly a, a baseball card channel. Well, he's more than that. Um, if you ever watch his, his, his artwork, TTMs, it's so unique. It's, it's literally, it should be on like PBS or one of those stations that Bob Ross used to be on. Like literally, like the episodes are just amazing. He draws the picture. He shows the return. He asks the, you know, the Hall of Famer questions. Um, sometimes not a Hall of Famer. 
Um, his artwork is fabulous. Um, he's just he's just reinvented himself so many times. Like I, I, I he, his channel is really like he. We found out the other day he takes three to six hours to edit his videos. Like imagine how much time he's putting in. You can just tell how good the quality is. So I think. I think second, secondary is he's he's a big supporter of the the car community. Um, he's always he's always sending people care packages and doing things for people. It's just amazing, um, Scott. You deserve this recognition, man. You're you're great. Um, and my fifth vote um, is a newer channel that um, it's not a newer channel. It's a channel that I just ran into recently. It's Ziggy No. Um, he he has a unique channel. He 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 does weekly he does weekly uh shows to shout out um things that are going on in the car community of or um these are some interviews that happened this week um these are some some channels to check out this week i mean he's 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 constantly he's constantly trying to get channels um recognition out there and um if that's not an important member of um the car community i don't know what is um, you know, me, I think I had a hundred subs and he was calling out one of my videos. Like, like m most people don't do that. They wait till you're a bigger channel. Um, and, um, I, I see some of the other stuff he does. He, he, he kind of covers a, a big spectrum of the, of the card space. So it's not just that he, he does a lot of things and I really enjoy his channel. Those are my five votes. Um, my unofficial votes. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you're not, for whatever reason, subscribed to any of those five channels, I think you need to check them out. Uh, thanks for watching.